Hey there, how are ya? Welcome back to Have You Seen That Film? I'm your host, Dylan Lloyd, where today we'll be talking about the movie Sahara, starring Matthew McConaughey, Steve Zahn, and Penelope Cruz. Sahara is the story of a uh, treasure hunter of sorts, Dirk, who has for years been obsessed with a, a Civil War battleship that he believes was la uh, lost somewhere in the Sahara Desert. Something that he's um, explored for years, tried to find, and everybody just thinks it's, um, it's a load of rubbish. And every time they go back to Africa, he continues his search for this lost battleship. And he's got his best friend, Al, who, you know, thinks it's nothing but a joke, but he's kind of like, yeah, I'm going to be there for you, pal. Um, anyways, he finds a gold coin that was... he was He's given a gold coin by somebody that was um, supposedly located or part of this battleship. And so from his... Uh, from his boss, he's given permission to take his boat and go off on a trip for three days, leaving their their current expedition behind, their current treasure hunting expedition behind. Uh, but along the way, or part of the deal, he has to take um, two doctors, one of them played by Penelope Cruz, to where they're trying to go because these doctors are suddenly finding this disease that is spreading, and they're they're trying to figure out where it's coming from and, and how it is spreading. Uh, anyways, in the background we find out that there's bad guys who are polluting the water and um, putting toxins out there that are infecting the Africans, causing them to receive this disease that is ultimately killing them most of them at least I think but so um, what starts off as a treasure hunting movie also kind of turns into like a, a spy save the world kind of type movie so it's an interesting uh, mix of the two um, anyways along the way um, as they're still trying to hunt for the treasure they're also trying to stop the spread of um, these toxins being released further and further out there. And that is, in short, the plot to Sahara. Now, Sahara, when it was released, was not financially successful. And to this day, it is still known as one of the biggest box office flops of all time. And um, you can say, you know, starting in the 80s, we had Indiana Jones. And ever since then, it's like every decade tries to give us a new treasure hunting hero that's like Indiana Jones. You know, we had Indiana Jones in the 80s. In the 90s, we had, the, we had Rick O'Connell from The Mummy with um, Evie and Jonathan. And, you know, in the early 2000s, this was, I think in a way, the attempt to... Um, have yet another treasure hunting character um, that people could get behind and enjoy in Dirk. And Sahara is actually based on books. So I'm almost certain that if this had been financially successful, they would have continued making more movies about Dirk. Because again, being a treasure hunter, it's there's there's endless possibilities where you could go. Now I I thoroughly enjoy this movie. I think it's got the right blend of adventure and action with a bit of comedy in there. Um, you know, the banter between uh, Dirk and Al is some of the provides some of the funniest moments. But also, just Al himself is just that he he plays the T, the perfect um, best friend sidekick who just got his funny little quirks and, um, you know, he isn't the hero, but he does help save the day. And I think the two of them together, I thought the chemistry was great between them, making um, 
for a believable friendship. And I also thought the ke chemistry between Matthew McConaughey and Penelope Cruz was also fantastic. Um, wanting you, uh, you know, hoping for that relationship to grow and to become something better. One of the the weaker aspects of Sahara that I that kind of bothers me when it came to some of the action scenes, when it was like shootouts, those were cool, but when it was like the closer hand-to-hand -hand combat, I really felt like it was just a bunch of jump cuts and it was hard to really tell what was going on in the hand-to-hand -hand combat. And I'm someone that if you're gonna have a fight scene, I wanna be able to watch the fight scene take out, be, be presented before me. Um, you know, it's one reason many people, including myself, love the John Wick movies, because we get to watch the action. It's not up close, it's not the shaky cam, it's not, you know, several jump cut, you know, cut scenes that are trying to connect the action that's making no sense whatsoever. And um, particularly with the, the final uh, fight scene, or fist fight between Dirk and uh, kind of one of the the silent villain, you know how there's always that silent sidekick who's big and menacing. It was, it, there, a lot of it is just so, just jumps all over the place. You don't really know what's going on. It's not the best film fight scenes. And that's just coming from somebody who loves to, who enjoys watching that kind of stuff. And so that it could have been better there. Um, but Sahara is still filled with a lot of fun scenes and fun sequences. And, you know, such as the, the boat chase, that's one of the best scenes. Um, and, and you can't not talk about Sahara, not mention the fact that Rain Wilson, a.k.a. Dwight K. Schrute, is in it. And he is not very, he's not as like Dwight, but he's still very funny in this, he's, this movie. He's got some moments in there. Um, but... You know, Sahara was an attempt at what could have been yet another treasure hunting series in the early 2000s. But it didn't, uh, like I said, it didn't succeed financially, and so we didn't get that. But then again, we still got National Treasure, and who doesn't love National Treasure? Some of Nicolas Cage's best work there. Um, Sahara as well, um, kind of like I mentioned last week in Hildago, it's... It takes you to um, a new world, essentially, a new location, places you've never been before. Well, you might have been. I've never been to Africa. Um, so it's it's giving you yet another look at um, what's out there, what Africa holds, which is really cool to see. And I also, I also thought it was interesting, the whole... Um, the whole spy and treasure hunting kind of type vibes, like save the world, but we gotta find the treasure. It was interesting to see them connect at the end. Um, and it kind of made sense for them, for this to happen because of, because they wanted to have like an action adventure movie. Because if it was just them treasure hunting, there really wouldn't have been any issues. There would have been no action. I mean, they could have created the villain, but based off of, um, you know, just the treasure hunting, like the villain had no, no desire to find the treasure. He didn't even know about the treasure. So really the treasure hunting, at times, it seems like a side story. We're kind of going back and forth. Um, that is Dirk's main purpose is finding the treasure, but for the majority of the film, it kind of turns more into them stopping the spread of these toxins into the water. Um, and so that may be one place where it could have, you know, kind of figure out more what we're trying to do or, but I don't know, it, it had a great balance of it. But like I said, it was kind of like, it'd be a few minutes where it's like, oh, let's talk about this treasure. And then we're gonna forget about the treasure because we're gonna go do this. So thinking about it, it's like, well, they probably could have done a little bit better of a job um, but again, if we, without the whole plot of the toxins and such, it would have had that action that the film does deliver on, does have a lot of. So it's kind of like we needed one to get the other. Um, 
Anyways, though, Sahara, if you're looking for an Indiana Jones type film, I recommend this one. This is one that I thoroughly enjoy watching. Um, despite some of the flaws in it that I, I've pointed out, I it's it's just that you call it like a popcorn flick. Like you just get to sit back and get all your snacks, and you will be entertained. There's going to be explosions and shooting and and romance and comedy. It's it's one of those where it delivers. It, it puts in all these categories that you love within a movie and delivers it to you. So again, this is Sahara, starring Matthew McConaughey, Steve Zahn, and Penelope Cruz with appearances by William H. Macy and Rain Wilson. If you haven't seen it yet, check it out. I think you'll like it if you like treasure hunting films or if you just are in for a good fun filled adventure. But then again, you may not like it either. So let me know. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe, down, subscribe button down below. Sometimes I talk too fast, I feel, and I tumble over my words. So, anyways, I appreciate the views, I appreciate the subscribes, and I hope that you continue to enjoy this channel. We'll talk to you later.